And we are back. Okay, this is our third episode tonight. Uh, welcome to the Wilders game. I'm Dave Wildson. Oh, we got to do a clacker. I'm getting reminded. Hold on. This is so that we can uh, balance our audio later on. So uh, here we go. We're going to do a clack. Ready? And then we're going to be quiet for five seconds. Uh, good enough. So if you haven't seen our game before, this is a uh, role-playing game. Actually, we use Pathfinder for our character sheets and our maps and our encounters. But we're not strictly one game system or the other. We use lots of D&D stuff for fun as well. Spell names and various things like that. Uh, to my left, we're going to do a real quick intro around for everybody. <clears throat> and uh, I need to give somebody a driving... Thing here, Robert, you get to do the uh, thing. Have you got the controls? Yeah. Or I, I can do it. Here, I'll go around. I'll do it to my left. Here's Raven. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Glenn the Valley. I play uh, Raven Alexium, the squishy wizard. There you go. ahead, Josephine. Hello, I'm Josephine Smith, um, played by Amanda. Something like that. And what are you? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm Josephine. I am Amanda, and I play oh. Josephine Smith. <laughs> and I am... This adorable killer, pew pew, sharpshooter. With, with guns. That's right, gunslinger. And what about you, Lavinia? I am not Josephine Smith. <laughs> I am Janice Wildson, and I play the part of Lavinia Rose, who is a fortune teller, a remover of undead, and a healer. And Percy. I'm Percival Redfeather, played by Robert Woodry, and I am a uh, a ranger, a hunter, a tracker, and master of arrow, bow and arrow. And I'm also changing to a weird tiger at the direst of moments. And Thaddeus. I'm Ian Little, and I play the part of Thaddeus Poindexter, a savannah surgeon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, here, I'll hand the controls back to you, <clears throat> Raven. All right, so we are... Um, just out of combat you guys have defeated uh each other? the spirit each other <laughs> possessed by the spirit that came from the defeated uh, our high spirits. undead captain of the uh elven undead elven patrol that you guys had found if we got a game map you'll see what's left of various bodies laying around there as well as uh, your characters uh, you guys are beat up but uh, you're not too badly hurt right now i wouldn't say we're not Nothing. as bad as she is. Mm, the little elf, mm -hmm. the, the little pixie that you found, who has remained unconscious throughout this entire afternoon with all of this stuff that has happened. Now, I meant to ask, is her condition something that could be cured yes, by something, something I Lavinia has acquired? Kind of curious no? about whether I could use my could, Is it a cantrip? Feet. No, it's a feat, so I mean, same Don't difference. use your feet, use your hands. Uh. Yeah, if you use your hands instead of your feet. Ho, oh, oh. ho, Okay, once again, the feet that you were talking about is treat condition. And it says that it treats the conditions of clumsy, enfeebled, and sickened. So you're hoping it'll treat her sickened condition. Uh, do you want to try? I very much would like All right, to try. roll, roll to see. I'm going to say it's a medicine check, so use your medicine modifier. Which, incidentally, should probably be higher than it's showing because of being a devotee of phrasma. It gives me an increased medicine. Well, then this thing would automatically have uh, calculated that, would it not? I don't know. Where are your... Central. 15... Plus whatever. Ooh, I have a plus nine in medicine. Nice. Well, it gives you a plus nine in religion. It says medicine is untrained, and I agree with you. You should have a little bit of training in medicine, so I'm going to change it to trained, which gives you a plus nine. Okay. Because so I think you're correct that that should say that. Yeah, I, well, I've run across it a few times now when I've been researching. So 15 plus nine, so 24. 24. It looks like um, you have not removed the sickened condition from her, but uh, it looks like uh, she is 
being suspended at whatever level she's at. So she's not getting worse. She's not getting worse and she's not getting better. So she's, she's still, still has unconscious. Fever so it's kind of stabilized. Mm-hmm. Her fever feels a little bit less than it was, but it's definitely still a fever. Thaddeus, is yeah. there anything in your bag of tricks that you might be able to um, do? I was just looking at that because my uh, medicine skill is plus 11. Okay. Um, so I'm happy to have a go as well. I thought we tried everything last week. And, and last week was only like, you know, an hour ago in the game. I and noticed that we have about four or five unchecked potions in the bag of holding and a couple of scrolls that we still have not ascertained their meaning. Does anyone remember that we were actually trying to go up the mountain and then we decided to go follow some footprints and see if someone could Oh, we help remember. Her? We totally yeah. remember. Okay. okay. Yeah. Because, like, there's always that route too we could go back up the mountain and go back to the northerly uh scape of the elves hopefully hook up with them right All right yeah <clears throat> so you're trying to do a, a an attempt at medicine 12 plus 11 12 plus 11 all you can tell is that uh she's not getting any worse she appears to be just a little bit better than she was uh, during your previous medical check. Ladies and gentlemen, she is stabilized. You know, some of Thank these... Thank you um, for that update. These undead folks might have something useful on them that might help them. Yeah. Of course he's going to raid the bodies. We got it. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm just suggesting... That's you know, his job. Actually touching them yet. Yeah, okay, go ahead and touch them. Be very touch careful them touching deeply. them. No one else touch them. Either. You have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, some of them quite burned and charred bodies laying around you of the... Uh, el- undead elven warriors that you guys have fought. There is one, as you've identified before, there was one druid, there's one captain, there's a couple of rangers, and the rest are warriors. I'd say check the druid. What do you wish to check? What do you? Where do you want to go? What do you want to look you for the, for loot? Like, yeah, the, the captain guy and the druid for sure. They most likely have the best and most useful items. The good stuff. The good stuff. We should check them all, though. Oh, yeah. Okay. Everybody take a body sort of thing? Well, as you check, the cluster of four bodies that are all together uh, that are laying on the map. If you show the game map on the screen, I'll point out what's going on and where it is. The cluster of four bodies that are all together right here. A couple of them took both charges of the fireball because they were already dead when the second charge hit. They are incinerated beyond any use. Everything that they have is burned because of how badly they were burned. The druid is a little bit less burned than the others. And you're able to find a few bits and pieces from her pouch. And they appear to be reagents for crafting alchemy things. She has an alchemy kit with her. Sorry, who has an alchemy kit? The druid. The the charred druid. The charred druid has got an alchemy kit that has remained intact. If only we had somebody who needed an alchemy kit in the group, who would that be, Raven? (laughs) Raven is just... Did you see the look of glee on his face when you said it? (laughs) Well, you know what this means, though. Mm -hmm. Well, I uh, subclassed into alchemy, which now means that I can... Um, use alchemy for uh, reagents so I can make stuff as we go. Because I took some classes, I worked it out with the DM. Mm-hmm. So some of that is healing, some of it's aid, um, anti venom. How quickly can you work using that kit for well, this little girl? I, here? I can do it right now, assuming that uh, we're taking a break. I have anything stopping. that we can use. So just let me see what I have prepared here. And. Um, Keep calling her a little girl. I don't know Keep her talking age. Among she's yourself just, she's, just, she's just a smallish. Oh, so I can small do small person, little person. I can do antidote, elixir of life, anti plague, or vaccine. So I'm not All sure which one of these. Good. See, I, I, I don't know if this thing she has is a plague. It might be, but I mean, plague generally uh, has many vectors. This appeared to have only one. Well, vaccine is for a specific strain of disease. And they get a plus two bonus. We don't know bonus. what that is. We don't know what it is. But elixir of life might at least bolster her. Well, it's a healing. Yeah. It's... Yeah. But does it specify what it heals? 
whether it heals conditions or uh, diseases. Um, anti, like elixir of life, you mean? Yeah. It's um, well, 1d6 hit points and plus one bonus to saving throws against diseases and poisons for 10 minutes. That's what I can do. Hmm. So I could hit her with that, but I don't think it's going to... I mean, it'll help her, but it won't gonna make her any worse. Too. I don't know if that's and the antidote, we don't know what what she's poisoned with yet or whatever. Well, so I can cast antidote, which gives her a plus two bonus to fortitude saving throws for against poisons for six hours. But I don't think this is a poison. So. Oh, hi, Lily. Do we have a Lily cam? We can try. Okay, so yes. I'll use one of my um, be a Lily, Lily cam. cam. Oh, we got to turn me Lily off too. Turn off my head. Minimi minimize Dave. There we the go. Head. Oh, not, not there, there we go. go. Nope. Off. Nope. Again. Again. Lily Cam. Lily. Hi, Lily. This little dog is our friend Greg's dog. Greg's around. Greg, come and say hi for a sec. Lily. Just this is his little dog. Assistance. Lily's a rescue like most of our animals. And I'm the one yeah. who rescued her. Yeah, well, that's right. Percy's the one who rescued her. Rob rescued her yep. and gave her to Greg. Just this is Greg, our buddy. Let's get him on screen for a sec. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. Just, just, yeah. Come, yeah. come join Lily. Greg played in our previous campaign, no, no, as a matter no, of fact. No, no. Back there. Go to where Lily is. Yep. There you go. There you Put go. Put your head down so you're by there. You're on this cam. You see here. this cam over here? Yeah, you're on that one. Hey, folks. Hi, Greg. Yeah, hi, Greg. Everybody I, say I hi, girl. Greg. Hi, Greg. <laughs> Back. He's a buddy of ours. He was uh, the wizard in our first campaign. He was the wizard killer in our first campaign. And it's a blast. And uh, uh, he this is a little dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't play well with others, so I'm not in this game. Uh, <laughs> Greg likes D and D. He just doesn't like D and D every week. Mm. So that's uh, I'm this. Home buddy. This is why they've been to visit. They've been here to stay for a day or two, and. Uh, that's why Lily's here hanging out with my dog, Simon, and ticking off our cat, Larry, who's nice not to too impressed with Lily. Larry does Say good night not... to Greg. Good night, good night Greg. Greg. Yeah, uh, Larry is not a fan of Lily. very active doggos. Yeah, Lily is a real run around, snoop and she, everything. A yeah, she's still a puppy. Okay, let's get back to what we were talking about, which was the loot. And the alchemy Are we kit. Talking about the fairy or the pixie. Are we trying You're to talking the about healing the pixie. Yeah. Now we'll I want to go back to the loot for a sec. Yep. Uh, Raven has just hit level five, and he has been able to add some alchemy to his uh, abilities, and he needed an alchemy kit for that. And lucky for him, there was one somewhere, and he Yay! found it. Imagine the, that would just happen. Just lucky so that way. Anyway, so what do you want to try and do? If you're going to try and make one of these things, don't you need to take some time to do it? Well, I can use my um, my feet, which is uh, quick alchemy, and I, oh, it I takes see. me one round that I can yeah, cast. Yeah, totally. I, I'll accept that. I can only cast a level one alchemy spell because that's all I'm trained for at the moment. What do you want to try? Well, I'll try uh, anti-plague. Anti-plague. So, plus two bonus to fortitude against diseases because she might be diseased. And I don't know. You're more of an elf than me, so if you have any direction, I I can't tell what's what's going on here. Well, let me see if there's anything that I can do here. Because see, it says As... anti plague can fortify the body's defense against diseases. Upon drinking an anti-plague, you gain a plus two item bonus to fortitude saving throws against diseases for 24 hours. This applies to your daily save against a disease's progression. All right, so do you feed her the anti-plague as she's laying there? Sure. Did I get the um, the spiritual knowledge or whatever it was? the On your feet? Mm -hmm. You got the feet that you asked for, Dance of Thunder. Dance of Thunder, and then we talked about the other one. Well, that you was... haven't found anything yet. But okay, you but, haven't but looked at all of the on... bodies, have you? I, well, I just don't see anything in my... Um... 
in my uh, we haven't looked actions. at all the bodies, have we? Your, your actions still have both of those spirit things in them. Um, yeah, no, 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 but it was something different. <clears throat> on your list of feats, you're saying you don't see it? Mm-hmm. Well, we can sort it out afterwards. Okay. Okay. I, I forget what Continue it was. It was like bodies. recall, rec- recall ancestral knowledge or something like that. Like that, I was supposed well, it would to. Would normally be a history check. But there, there was a feat. Oh. It was like specific yeah. to so, uh, hereditary knowledge. It was her mm-hmm. ancestry feat that she took at level five, mm-hmm. and it is right here: wisdom from another life, wisdom from society, another life. additional lore. And you took society as your additional lore. Where is that under, though? I can't find it. Ancestry feats. It's the number five feet. Oh, feats. Here we go. Feats. Ancestry feats. Wisdom of another life and Member? additional lore. Okay, we'll see if this comes. I just I wanted to bring it up because I remembered that like that I had prepared myself somewhat for this sort of thing, but you wanted to have the ability to do a better job of recall knowledge when it came to societies mm-hmm. uh, that you're going to be interacting with here, the Fae societies, mm-hmm. various societies that are involved in the Fae, which I think is fine. And then you also took Dance of Thunder. Yeah, you guys are going to love Dance of Thunder. Okay, so the anti-plague appears to make no difference this time. Hmm. Okay, continue to search bodies. And that's because the, she didn't roll high enough for it to make a difference. Yeah, basically. Put the shot. So, you are going to continue to look at bodies? Yes. Uh, the only thing you find that's of use in these four is that one thing. Which one do you want to look at next? This guy, the general? That's the captain, yes. Captain? I think we should He's probably head over to him. Captain Crunch. Oh, gross. Because <laughs> he's all crunched. Mm-hmm. Okay, he's are you, who's going to who's going to captain examine crispy. him? Okay, I will. Thaddeus goes to examine him and discovers upon his body, around his neck on a silver chain apparently untouched by the fire apparently it's wasn't even phased by the fire a small looks almost like a small wire cage around a little glass globe the glass globe is currently empty so it's a wire cage around. it's around it's a just like almost like a pendant around the neck a small round and there's a small like glass a globe. Gra- gem. Mm-hmm. Now that globe is that globe is only about an inch, inch and a half across. Okay, it's a very small round glass bubble that is held as a pendant on this wire necklace with this with very fine wire stuff and it around it. It appears empty. And it appears to be see through and empty right now. Mm. Weren't you mm. looking for some bobble to capture souls or something no that's me oh. actually i need a jar a jar mm-hmm. but is it a no you don't need a jar jar or is it something that holds souls could be a soul binding uh, okay pendant. maybe i need that uh, i need mr alexium could you with... detect magic on this uh, okay so here's here's the thing i have this um this thing that i can do Surprise, guys. I've got this weird thing that I can do. Capture spirit? Mm-hmm. So it's under I can your collect, actions, Collect correct? spirit remnants. So I brandish my spirit... Well, brand, brandish my spirit dwelling at the location where a haunt, ghost, or other incorporeal and dead was destroyed within the last minute and pray or recite ritual incantations. I coax the spirit remnant into the spirit dwelling. Oh my God. Give me that necklace. I yeah. need to, to do I mean, some incantations. You know, maybe if you're a hillbilly, you use a mason jar for your spirits. But in this case, <laughs> when you're in your, when you're a magical Hello, elf, did you see how I grew up? I'm kind of hillbilly. <laughs> in this case, uh, it is clearly some type of magical vessel. <laughs> okay. But you can Wait. call it a mason jar if you really want. Well, I can call it a mason jar. <laughs> you you I, can call I the just, creature I inside I it mason. I don't know what ritualistic so in, incantations I should do. <clears throat> well, it says, um, now me. that you have it, it says that 
If you brandish your spirit dwelling at the location where a haunt, a ghost, or other incorporeal undead was destroyed within the last minute, Mm -hmm. and prayer recite a ritual incantation, you coax the spirit remnant into your spirit dwelling. Once you have that, the action further down Mm -hmm. says spirit's mercy is a reaction. That will trigger your reaction. You take, if you take positive or negative damage, or you take any type of damage caused by a haunt, a ghost, or other incorporeal undead, you can use one spirit wisp or remnant, which you have if you collect them in your little pendant. Bubble. Right? Mason jar. Dwelling. It grants you resistance. So you have much less chance of taking damage. The resistance is equal to twice your level. Wow. If you expend a spirit remnant, the resistance is equal to three times the level of the incorporeal undead or haunt from which you gained the remnant. Right, but how... Uh, I, I, don't, I never learned any incantations to be able to capture the spirit into the bubble. Maybe they will come to you in a dream now that you have your little spirit pendant. Possibly. Maybe we just start saying... Oh, go, gotcha, go, 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 gotcha, go. All that good love when you're on your own. Keep it up, girl. Yeah, you turn me on. I'm hooked on a feeling. Do, do, do. And I'm high on believing. Do, do, do. That you're in love with me. Should be hooked on a spirit. Just I think it's uh-huh. Uga Chaka, isn't it? Uh-huh. Uga Chaka, hooked on Uga Chaka, it is Uga, 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 Chaka, Uga, Chaka. Uga, Chaka. Yeah. Uga Chaka, Uga. Anyways, right? That you can is get entirely to help beside you the point. Sing your rituals. <laughs> Has it been more than a minute since that um, spirit left us? Has it been more than a minute since that spirit left us? Where do you think that spirit came from? From the commander. From the commander. Maybe you should try an incantation. Maybe you can capture his And the answer is, yeah, it's long gone. You're not going to catch that one. Like, do I want (laughs) to capture that? That seems like a really... spirit. Yeah, not great thing to... Like, like, I've got a vessel to use for further uses. Also, it was not destroyed. It only escaped. She's got to recapture the essence of something that is destroyed. So Mm -hmm. the whole idea here is that if you encounter some, some incorporeal things, will-o'-wisps, ghosts, stuff that doesn't have a body, right? Those are the things that if you happen to defeat and destroy them, then she can uh, right away try and do a capture of the remnants. Mm -hmm. That's what she's been wanting to do the whole shot since she was level four. She took this uh, feed at level four. I did, and I kind of forgot about it because I was like, well... Yeah. Mm. So now you have found what you need to be able to continue on with this. Yes. Um, how do I end it? Moved over to the last body. Inventory. Mm, I'll help you do that later. Remind me. Okay, so Thaddeus is still looking, right? Yeah. Yep. And Thaddeus finds, in addition to that, that this guy was not so badly burned that his long black bow... Uh, remains intact, as well as a uh, long scimitar at his waist. It looks like he also has a breastplate that is elven chainmail. Ooh, elven chainmail. We want that. Fancy. You also find a letter in his, um, tucked into his tunic, uh, that is written in Elvish. Um, I'm taking out the um, magnifying glass. Okay. From Orzel's All right, house. so you have a magic magnifying glass that you found in Orzel's house that helps you translate languages. That You're going to use it to try and read this letter? I would love to do that. Okay. As you pass the magnifying glass over the top, of uh the uh script that the letter is written in it's a fairly brief note it appears to be a command and uh it simply says to commander and at this point you can't tell because it's been burned out who the commander is at the top oh, I have and then it idea. goes along below and it says um uh patrol uh the southern edge 
near uh, the site called Celestia's Vale. Uh, and it looks like it's some kind of military orders, basically. And then at the bottom, there's a, some type of a flourish. And below that, just the word Leoris. Hmm. That's L-E-O-R-A-S. So I would venture a guess that that's the, the Lord of the Undead Elves, probably. Probably. Um, in response to an order from the Iron Fist or whatever, right? That is not a fist. It's an Iron Cudgel. The iron Cudgel. So have um, you ever, ever heard that name before? Leoris. Did Leoris. we just kill my father? It looks like the person that you are getting the letter off has gotten the letter from somebody from Leoris, named yes. Leoris. Is Leoris your dad? Would this be called a communication pendant or a broken tusk pendant or a pendant of the occult or metalax pendant or corpse word pendant? I don't know. I'll have to look it up later in the inventory to be able to figure it out. Okay. Okay. I thought you might already have decided on that. I'm sorry. Um, so, yes, the letter, the letter is from Leoris. It doesn't have anything beyond that. Just the first name, Leoris. That's all you find on this particular body. You have a couple more left. Okay. Keep searching. Sorry, I just want to pipe in um, that um, leather or that chain shirt is light. Mm -hmm. So anyone who's trained in light armor or moderate armor could wear it. And uh, it's quite a nice shirt having studied such things. I think we're both all armored up right now. It is a chain of elven kind. An elven kind. Okay, so, well, put it in the bag of holding for now, and um, okay. I'll see if... We'll decide who's because, gonna wear it later. Because uh. we literally just all got armored up. I think he got some leather armor, and, or no, he got some... Plate. Plate armor, and I got some chain armor. Yeah, yeah. of unusual kind. You don't know what it is yet. But this yeah. is like a plus two bonus for AC right off the top. So what's your dexterity, though? Anyway, My dexterity is four. Oh, wow. Well, okay. Yeah. Anyway, just saying it's nice armor. Mm -hmm. Anything else you want to shop for? Uh, we're going to, it is 1024. We're going to wrap it up in the next 10 minutes. I got a couple of uh, housekeeping things to discuss uh, as we wrap it up too. So what we'll do is we'll finish this looting. Before you decide where else to go, we'll do that next week. Uh, and you guys can figure out what you're doing with this various Are we going to try and have a rest? Are you? That will be what for you will let me know after you finish looting. You can decide. Uh, so and that means we have to decide what our next plan is with the fairy. Well, do we we'll either... decide, like, we can always have a rest yeah, right. in the first two minutes of our game next but, week. But do we want to go after, in the direction that the undead elves went and take on the whole campment? Or do we want to go back through the portal? So remember how he just said we're going to finish this next, we are going to finish looting the bodies and then discuss everything next week. Okay. Yeah. I know. Because otherwise we'll be here for another two hours discussing what we want to do because it's very have captivating. We, have we finished looting the bodies? We have you not. have not. You have got a couple more bodies to look at. Okay. We'll look at the rest of the bodies. The other two. Okay, the next body you find a little pouch that's got uh, uh, so three gems in it, and it looks like it's even got some Orochalcum coins in it. There are uh, ten Orochalcum coins, one Azurite, one Rock Quartz, and one Rose Quartz. Nice. Josephine was telling me that the container of things that I brought you had Orochalcum coins in it. Josephine was telling me that what container that you brought me. Oh, <laughs> it, it has that's true. It does have more chocolate coins in it. So, uh, this is what they are referring to is this basket that has little pouches of coins in it, worm chalcum coins, and some silver coins. Here's all your loot. Pretty heavy, too. Wow. Where, did, where did you get this? 
It's a long uh, story. Something we had kicking around. Used as it's, a it's, it's special a, a, event a tokens. Prop. A prop. Yeah, it was so one it's of prop our props. Now. So, uh, other things that you find. You find a wand. Ooh. And it's an interesting one because it's a wand that apparently is still growing. It seems to be a small live branch. Ooh, wow. And uh, it looks to you like there are even a couple of little buds coming off with berries on them. Can I detect if it's a, um, what school of magic it is? How do you know like then that it's a wand? And it looks like it's very wholesome, whatever it is. Like, how do you tell the difference between a wand and a stick? In this case, uh, it's, it's a magic. magical stick. Yeah. It's just a magical stick, so we're calling it a wand. Uh, you also find uh, a couple of um, scrolls. They they appear to be identical scrolls, and they show somebody running. And they've got illustration. The illustration is pretty much identical on both of them, and it's clearly an elf running. So they are elven scrolls of something that is elven magic. Okay. Are you guys okay if I take the wand and the scrolls for now? Of course. Yep. Of course. What else do you find? I'm looking to see what else is of use. You find another bow. It's the short bow from the ranger that was using it. It looks like to be an extremely well-made elven short bow. Okay. With beautiful craftsmanship. You also find some arrows for the short bow. They're shorter than the regular arrows that you would use. They appear to be for use with the short bow. And their heads are all very carefully wrapped. There's something about the arrowheads on these think, that uh, is something you Please need to go take ahead, care sir. of. That's your okay. weapon of choice. Well, I'm gonna carefully put them in my here in the on the ranger you also find a pouch and clearly there are some kind of reagents once again the kinds of things that uh uh either josephine or raven would need for their crafting oh um yes please let, let's put the reagents into our bag of holding that's everything that you find on all of these guys <laughs> except for one potion it appears to be a potion that's got it. It's in a small vial and it appears to be a light blue potion. And it has a small feather swirling around in the, in the liquid. It's a feather ball. You don't know. I want to drink it and see if I can fly. Maybe you'll just giggle because it's a tickle potion. <laughs> <laughs> Quite okay, possibly. that's the end of loot, and I'm going to call that tonight for where we are at. I want to talk about crafting and alchemy and stuff like that. We are going to, and I think I mentioned this earlier, we're going to be uh, attempting to upgrade Foundry with a couple of modules. That uh, Foundry is a system. There's lots of third-party modules that programmers make for it. Uh, one of the most uh, prominent and prolific of this is a guy who makes some very good modules, and apparently he's made a good crafting module and a good quest module and a good alchemy module. We're going to try and add those, and then there's going to be a learning curve on how to use them, but I want them to be able to be used by you guys for the stuff that you want to make everything from badges bandages to your black powder things to glenn's alchemy all of that kind of stuff they tend to track how many different reagents you have and all of the other things that you need for them and that is something i need to be streamlined so that i don't have to deal with it and these modules are supposed to do this however they require a subscription that's why we haven't done them yet is because I can't afford them yet. So we will be doing, uh, uh, it's a Patreon subscription and I don't think it's that much per month. It might be something like 12 bucks or 15 bucks, something like that. But at this point we can't afford it. So we are just going to get there hopefully within the month or two. And then you guys will be able to use that to do this stuff with. That was my only housekeeping thing. Uh, we were planning on doing a history session tonight. But we didn't get to it because our fighting took longer than I expected it to. Yeah, uh, I did not expect the whole ourselves. spirit thing to happen quite the way it did. 
Anything else? Anybody got questions or stuff they want to talk about before we wrap it up? I just wanted to say how much I appreciate um, our viewers having been here with us and listened to all of this mm-hmm. and making all their comments and doing all that sort of stuff. It's lovely. Sugar didn't even make um, Percy blush once today. Oh, not, not, yet. not even no, once. No, but not even but once. now that we're all staring at him, there he goes. <laughs> yeah. So, not- yes, thank you very much to ZZZ Tops and to Frosty and to... Anybody else that's come to uh, yeah, it, it was Sugar hi. ZZ and Frosty who came and visited today, and Nina too, but um, she didn't uh, type. But uh, that, that's but okay. I saw, Stay saw Frosty that she's and Yola. Who's Yola? Lurkers are always welcome. Mm. Yola. Yeah, it says Yola. I think Yolo. You only live once. That's what YOLO usually stands for, but I don't yeah, see the comments that I you're talking about. I don't see anybody, anyone's name named YOLO. See, look over your shoulder there, uh, Glenn, at the last two in it notes. I wonder if mine is not scrolling. YOLO and Lily is very cute. And YOLO says hi, Greg. Oh, and Greg says hi back from the other room. Yay. Oh, who's YOLO? That's hi, YOLO. Who's YOLO? Oh, I know what's going on here. I'm only seeing the Twitch chat, and that person is watching us on YouTube. Oh, hi, YouTube. YouTube. So I'm sorry for the folks. uh, We're restreaming, and that means we're on YouTube as well. I'm sorry to the folks on YouTube that we didn't catch any of your comments or questions. We will try and get restream chat set up because it gives us the streaming chat from everybody we're streaming to. YouTube, Kick and uh twitch all rolled into one this is my confusion so sorry um i am now the chat master i am in charge chat master chat master i am in charge of replying to the chats in one way or another and um i did not reply to yola and i'm so sorry we can reply after the fact and comment on comments that's right Comment on comment. You can always comment on our YouTube uh, videos as well, and we can answer those comments there. If Click, we get like, some. and comment. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, folks. We're going to wrap it up right there. You can pass me the controls. And Thank you, we'll everyone. Wave Thank and you. say Thank good night. Dave. Good night. Thank, Thank you, Dave. Thank, Thank you. you, Dave. Thanks, Dave. Awesome job, as always. All right. Uh,